I've spent a lot of time in this channel discussing the history of comics, in-depth discussion of characters, runs, reviews of adaptations, other comic-adjacent media, even toys, but I regularly see a sentiment crop up in video comments that's very interesting to me, and that is, Western comics are dying, the comic industry is tanking, the comic industry is dying off, manga is outselling comics, etc, 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 and I'm sitting here waiting for comics to actually die, and it just hasn't happened yet, and I'm trying to figure out exactly why people think that, because I've heard this for 30 years. So why do people think that Western comics are dying, and are they? The answer is pretty complex, so stick around. We're going to get into it this week. I'm Dan Umthen, and this is the Doomcast. First of all, do me a favor, hit subscribe and the bell. I make about one video a week. They're all great, so please don't miss even one. Uh, all right, so comics. Western comics, the intellectual property behind half a dozen of the top grossing films of all time, are dying, apparently. Uh, the thing is, comics have been dying for as long as they've been alive, literally from almost their beginning. Maybe they did die. Maybe like comic characters, they came back over and over again, but they're not gone. But they're sure not the same. There's no question about that. The first time comics really started tanking or the Western comic industry started dying goes all the way back well before my time, not the 1990s, all the way back to the 1950s. Even as early as the 1950s, sales numbers for comics started dwindling from where they were. In an industry focused on mostly young boys, a lot of competition cropped up in the 1950s. From magazines catering to the same audience, to TV, movies, uh, comic sales dwindled, and Fred Wortham's Seduction of the Innocent did not help much, nor did HUAC, the House on American Activities Commission, or the resulting comic code that held sway for the next 50 years. Uh, comic books are dying out, people said. but comics adapted. Superheroes had gone by the wayside after the 1940s uh, post-war, but once Comics Code killed most of the horror and sci-fi and crime comics, superhero comics made a resurgence in the early 60s, made a pretty substantial comeback, but never to the insane circulation numbers of the early 1940s. That is, not until the 1990s. That's when comics were again supposed to be dying, in large part due to an incredible speculative boom. From 1990 to 1994, comic sales swelled to outsized levels that they had not previously, and new publishers, more than 20 of them, flooded the market with comics. But by 1996, most of those new publishers had shuttered just, and sales had fallen just as quickly as they had risen. It was precisely this that led to Marvel selling off movie rights uh, to its most popular characters, except for the Avengers and a few others, a decision which would have absolutely no future consequences whatsoever. Uh, with the rapidly declining sales of comics and general disappearance of comics from any shelves other than local comic book stores, uh, with a monopoly of diamond distributors, the comic industry nearly choked to death under its own weight. But between film, adaptation, animation and toy sales, both Marvel and DC limped along into the 2000s. Well, sales figures have been pretty faithfully recorded by outlets like Comicron as far back as the 1980s due to the public numbers from Diamond and other distributors, and there's no question that there's been big rises and falls in those numbers since both the big two were absorbed by Warner and Disney respectively, relegating their comics to fodder for IP for films and TV that aren't always great, but were reliably profitable for a while. And while the sales of individual comics rose from 2008 to 2019, the sales of trades and graphic novels rose a lot more over that period of time as both are more easily accessible, less expensive, and on sale in bookstores and regular retail stores rather than exclusive to local comic book shops. And they're priced around the same value of regular books, if not cheaper, uh, easier to store. So it makes sense that according to Statista, uh, sales were flat for floppy comics in 2022, but graphic novels grew the entire industry by 4% over the prior year to $2.07 billion in sales, and that's not necessarily movie theater numbers, but not down from where it's been in recent years. Of course, it's important to note that a lot of the other videos that I've seen that go into Western comics dying usually cite numbers from 2020, which feels a little selective considering the fact that those numbers definitely were down 
mostly because uh, comics weren't publishing for about a third of that year, and people really couldn't leave their house to purchase anything for the better part of the year, uh, but they, comic sales did swell once again in 2021 and 2022, mostly graphic novels. Now, of course, an off-sided reason that Western comics are dying is that manga is supposedly outselling Western comics in the United States. Well, let's look at some of the numbers that we have for that and see if it's true. Manga is incredibly popular, that's undeniable, and anime is also incredibly popular. Now, uh, like I've delved into before on Comic Cons, there's a ton of crossover between comics and manga and comic media and anime, and it's absolutely fair to say that while there's likely a massive crossover of fandom between the two, I read both manga and comics. My guess is that people generally lean into one and not so much the other. Certainly, I'm more on the comic side, not on manga. Manga sales in 2022 increased 6.8% over 2021, according to Publishers Weekly, and accounted for around 54% of graphic novel sales in the United States across all retailers, which is absolutely incredible. And with a 4% total increase in that same year as mentioned before in all comic and graphic novel sales, it means that the two styles of comics are actually sharing retailers and aren't exclusively competing for market share meaning that the readers of manga weren't probably picking up Western comics to begin with, and vice versa. Sales numbers for manga in 2023, however, remained flat, according to the same publication, Publishers Weekly. Uh, read that however you like, since consumer spending across everything is generally down. That might mean manga is still doing pretty well and fairly defensive. People haven't chosen to spend less on manga, at least, uh, than other things. But if anything, it's not killing the Western comics industry, but based on overall sales numbers, a new market sharing space in the same retailers has emerged. A pet talking point of people who really rely on the narrative that Western comics are dying, there's really two talking points that they like. One is that Western comics are creatively stagnant and tell the same story over and over again. I can't argue that there certainly are plots that feel like they get overused, but that's definitely never happened with manga, right? Uh, there's never been more than one story about a very special 14 to 17 year old boy who faces an inciting tragedy, but through grit and determination, and a unique quirk or a curse or a lack of magic or a special skill becomes the absolute best at everything that they've ever done, the greatest Hokage ever, just like Demon Slayer, Naruto, Black Clover, Bleach, One Piece, My Hero Academia, Gurren Lagann, Evangelion, or any other shonen anime in history. Also, there's never been more than one story about a person accidentally transported to a new world on their death, like that time I got reincarnated as a manga character in an isekai. And those, there's definitely never been more than one about a person who's trapped in a video game or discovers that their life is actually a video game like Solo Leveling or Gantz or Sword Art Online or Shangri-La Frontier, Mushkoko Tensei Jobless Reincarnation, or any of the other stuff that's basically the equivalent of Americans' capes and tights rehashing over and over again. It's not any more clever or creative than Western comics are, by far. If anything, it's a lot of the same stuff. And that's fine. My other favorite talking point is that manga isn't woke. And that's why it's succeeding. Nope. Manga's definitely not woke. No trans, non-binary, or gay characters in manga or anime at all, like Gotha or Alaka or Hanji or Neferpito or Berg Katsi or Baron Asher or Kaoru or Kusanagi or virtually every single One Piece villain that's ever been created. Yeah, there's actually a shit ton of LGBTQ characters in manga and anime too, and it's sort of crazy how they're just normalized so much that it's just entirely accepted, uh, which seems like the wokest shit that it possibly could be. Anyway, I don't know. Remind me, did the trend of femboys come from Western comics or was that from anime? I forget. Anyway, the comic industry is changing with the times, but always has. Manga started as a reaction to Western comics with pioneers like Osamu Tezuka and Western comics pioneers like Carmine Infantino and Reed Crandall were inspired by Japanese ukiyo-e and other sequential art that existed around the world. What I'm saying is that these art forms evolve with and from each other not to the exclusion of the defeat of one another. If digital comics kills uh, Western comics, it's probably gonna kill manga as well. I know a shit ton of people that pirate both manga and American comics, so it's probably a wash. If local comic book stores were to fail, it's gonna be a, a disaster, not just for comics and manga, but also for gaming and collectible industries in the US as well. Comics, like most of their popular characters, 
have died countless times before in the past, only to come back with new powers and new readers and new stories. The only thing I do see changing is the format that we digest it in and where we get it. That, it seems, always changes. Well, anyway, uh, agree, disagree, other points that you'd like to make, please let me know in the comments. Uh, do me a favor, like, subscribe, share with your friends, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, otherwise, I I'm done with this subject. Thank you. Take care and have a great week. Thanks for watching. Peace.